So apparently you can take the metro to the airport. Just gotta get on the blue line. And then remember in the other video when I got off like the cemetery, it's like the outdoor place, you gotta go past that and go to the airport. So it's about three o'clock, leaving. Flight goes out at five. Let's hope we're on time. Let's go. This airport is definitely significantly larger than the Richmond Airport. I guess most airports are larger than the Richmond Airport. A lot of walking. Ah. Best tip for flying, wear gym clothes. Because if you don't, you gotta take off like your belt and your watch. So basically, you gotta take off like two, same thing, you got tire shoes. You know, gym shoes you can just throw on, so. Ooh. Gonna be the best tasting monster in the world ah, because it was four dollars. <laughs> that tastes like four dollars. That's about two dollars right there. So I'm on this moving sidewalk here, I'm basically at the Chicago airport, and it's about two and a half hours until I need to board my next flight. <clears throat> I was really hoping there would be like a, uh, like a sit down restaurant, so I could sit down and restaurant, <laughs> but uh, there's only like one option and I'm not really feeling it, it's super packed. So I'm gonna have to resort to like McDonald's or something. God, it's good. Maybe I'll, I'll finish watching the movie. I'm watching Kingsman right now. It's pretty good. Very violent. I got like 30 minutes left. I'm gonna watch that. I'm trying to find some food. How about Miller's Pub? Miller's Pub, yeah. We've landed in Utah. Eight hours of travel time. I'm very tired. It's uh, like one, almost 1.20 in the morning. So now I have to get on security and hope that my bag is there because they had to check it because I'm not a big fan of Southwest, Southwest Airlines because it's like a free-for-all seating. It's kind of weird. Um, and I luckily, luckily me, I got put on the plane last, so they had to check my bag. So I'm gonna have to go find it. So we're here with uh, Troy. Just picked me up with eSupplements.com. What's up, YouTube? And uh, yeah, so it's late, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get the bag, and then we'll head to the hotel. Cozy. Oh, there's a fan. Yeah, it's already broken. Ah, so it is in max time about 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I've been traveling since like 3.30. So a very, very long day. And uh, excited for tomorrow. Excited for um, doing this kind of gym interview photo thing. So it's going to be very, very exciting. I'm very grateful for um, this opportunity and I'm gonna get some sleep because I'm super tired super sleepy <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pass out now Good morning guys. It is obviously the morning after um, It's about 10 o'clock. I had a really good sleep I did I woke up in the middle of the night and have you ever slept in your arm and you wake up and your entire arm is asleep And I was literally sitting up my bed could not lift my arm and I was thinking I was like this is it this is, I got, I got up to call, I'm not to get my, my, my arm amputated. Like, I legitimately, I, did, I couldn't lift my arm. 
I know that's happened to you. It's like the scariest thing ever. Cause you're like, move! You gotta get the blood flowing. But um, headed to get some food of a car or anything. So actually there's a Denny's right there, which I might go to or see what else is maybe right across the street. There was like a firehouse subs. I just got this Yelp app. Apparently it's like the coolest thing ever. I probably use it a lot. But this might be the only thing. Yeah, Denny's. I wish that I could see across the street to see what those things are. That's another thing I need to get is LASIK. That is next on the list. Never had contacts, never had glasses. I know that my vision's terrible. Yeah, I can't read any of that. I can read like the FedEx, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can read like FedEx, but these small buildings, can't read that. Yeah, well, that is it is. All right guys, so what we got going on here, two pieces of French toast, uh, I took the pieces of butter off, didn't know it came with butter, I should have assumed that, but two orders of French toast at two pieces. This is a chicken sausage, egg white, and cheddar on wheat sandwich. It's really, really good actually. And then we got a side of fruit. Um, and then I'll probably drink one of my, I'll probably drink my protein shake when I get back to the, to the house, just because some calories on me before the um, kind of the gym session thing we're doing. So I'm gonna crush this while I watch some YouTube videos and uh, get some sugar-free syrup. Yeah. Time to go. All right, so Troy just picked me up. He's got all of the equipment in the back. And then how far is the gym we're headed to? It's about three, four miles away. Three, four miles, not, not far. It's CrossFit gym, actually. And I did a little periscope earlier, and a lot of people were saying that I was going to do CrossFit. I was like, it's not doing CrossFit. <laughs> I had a CrossFit gym. So it's going to be super exciting, and I'll take you guys along with it. So we are at the gym, waiting on everyone else to get here. So there's a little delay on time mix up for the gym, so we're gonna kill some time at Chili's. All right, so I got some salmon, broccoli, this is like a nice glaze, it's only like 450, 500 calories, and then like a rice. I got some chips, what do you got, man? I got some uh, carnitas tacos, some rice, should be a good meal. Fucking delicious, so I'm gonna crush this, and then by the time we finish this, um, I'm gonna be back at the gym. So bringing all the equipment in, here's the facility that we're training at, it is called Put It Up CrossFit. Pretty cool facility, a lot of room. So we're setting up all the stuff, this is Tyson with e-supplements. What's up? <laughs> so uh, I think, we, so we set up everything over here? Yeah, I think so. Cool. got the microphone set up. Pretty cool. Very official. Alright, so we are about to begin and uh, what I'm going to do is kind of let this camera roll and then periodically throw some clips into this, but I'm going to make sure if you want to see the full thing, you'll have to check it out on the website, but I'm going to put a little sneak peek in here. Um, it should be very cool. I'm very excited. I've never done anything like this, so I am thankful for this opportunity. Am I really facing right into it or do you want to face? So you're, you're going to be looking, you're going to be talking. Okay. Arsonist had all these shit feet. I got into lifting when I was about 21 years old. I'm 25 right now, so I've been lifting about four years. My roommate actually got me into working out and into fitness. They were very much into it, and for the longest time, they'd be going to the gym, and I'd be sitting on the couch playing Call of Duty, eating sour straws, and drinking Pepsi, and they'd be... Max, let's go to the gym, let's go to the gym. And I'd be like, nah, that's, that's, that's dumb. I don't need to work out. I don't need to do any fitness related things. It, it didn't interest me. Sounds good. Yeah, how, how has um, working out and um, focusing on fitness affected your life? Fitness for sure has completely changed my life. What I like to do for fun is going to be very nerd based things. I enjoy laying on the couch watching Netflix. I enjoy playing video games, I enjoy going to movies, eating at restaurants, all sorts of uh, very basic things. I don't really do anything super crazy, me having anything to do with it, or them just contacting me saying, hey, this is my story, this is my transformation, and it's so cool to read and so cool to see. You go to these expos and you meet all these people and you put a name to the face, they've been commenting on your videos for years, and they're finally, they're finally meeting in real life, and they're, they're so excited to see you, and I'm just excited to see them because without all of the supporters, you know, I'd be nothing. The strength is very, very addicting. 
All right, so now I think we're gonna take some photos. That, uh, the whole interview thing was very new to me. I, I think that I might have stumbled over my words a lot, maybe, um, I don't know. It was a very cool, it's very new, and it's something that I'll definitely get better at and uh, learn to <laughs> have better actual public speaking instead of the camera where I can kind of edit, I can do these things over again. When it's something like that, imagine if it was live, I'd have to really be on, <laughs> make sure that I'm doing everything right, but it was very cool. It's all done with the photos. Now we're moving into some video work. So I switched into the chucks on some of the photos. I know you guys are gonna say, well, Max, you don't do conventional and you don't do um, <laughs> work on Nikes. So moving on video, doing some, doing some squats, gonna do some deadlifts, gonna do some bench. So we're gonna do squats, probably maybe get it to like 315 for the video, get it to like 500 for the deadlifts for the video, and then I suck at bench, so. I guess moving into the squat portion, just gonna do 315 pounds for a set of five to get some footage for it. Got my belt on, let's do it. So we got Troy on the, the Mac Daddy equipment right here. What does this say, uh, 5D? Yeah, it's a 5D Canon. Mark II, right? Yep. All right, cool. So, all right, sorry, it's, re it's recording. Okay. So now we're moving into the bench press, just gonna do 225 pounds. This is definitely the quickest that I've ever gone directly from like squat to bench and worn up super fast, but luckily it's just one set of each. A little slow from earlier. Earlier, earlier in the week. So now we're going to the deadlifts. We've already worked up to 455 pounds. Probably do like at most a double of this. Then I'll probably go to maybe 475. I think we're going to cap it out at 500 because um, I'm not like going to go try to go for any PR or anything. I'm not going to try to rip out 500. Really, just um, one rep will do. All right, so everything went smoothly. I managed to pull the 500. I'm surprised, <laughs> not surprised that I could, but we're not doing those deficit pulls last week. Really put a, whenever I do conventional pulls, it puts a tax on my central nervous system. So that went well. I think we're wrapping up and um, 
Very cool. This is extremely cool. All right, so that's a wrap. Headed back to the hotel. I might see if we can stop for some like, snacks because that water, the water at the hotel, is terrible. So maybe I'll stop and grab a couple things of water. It's actually kind of early. It's only about four o'clock, so I don't leave out till tomorrow. So it's fine. Maybe I can Uber to a movie theater or something. Sounds good. Oh, is that a brand new store or is it you your walker? All right, so it's about. 5.30, man, I don't really know what to do tonight, so I don't have a car or anything. So I am gonna go see a movie. I'm gonna see Jurassic World in about an hour and 45 minutes. Now there's no Ubers right now, so I'm hoping that there'll be an Uber at the time. Um, take my multivitamin and my fish oil because I take these whenever I travel. And I'm not really hungry, so I don't really wanna eat dinner. Maybe I'll grab something after the movie. But for now, I'm just gonna knock out some protein. So I'm gonna have a cookies and cream Quest bar. And I brought two scoops of protein. The mint cookies and cream. Like puffed up? Eh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, mint cookies and cream MTS. So crush that. Maybe I'll get a snack, the movie. Pay full price, go crazy. Cause I'm on like a little vacation. Um, yeah, that's what I do. Ew. All right, so we are going on a movie date with ourselves. I brought nice clothes for some reason. Got the casual, nice EF shirt. Chinos, the standard. I'm gonna go see Jurassic World. 2D, not 3D. Hey, So the movie was uh, very cool, very dinosaur-y, very loud. Got some five guys to go. My shuttle is here to get back to the hotel, so I'm gonna take this back there. So I'm gonna crush this back at the hotel. Got a single little baby burger with cheese and A1. It's pretty much what I like, just A1 on there. And cheese, which is way better than In-N-Out, sorry to say. This is gonna wrap up this video. I thank you guys for watching. I'll probably film tomorrow for Saturday's video for next week. Um, but definitely I appreciate East Supplements for bringing me out here. This was an amazing experience. I've never done anything like this where I've come out and done like in like an interview and like taking photos and stuff. Um, and it's really, really cool. And I know that I was a little nervous and uh, I probably stumbled over my words. And a lot of times when, when I'm like talking, I, you guys know that I talk really fast. So when I was doing like the interview, I knew what I wanted to say, but I would like stumble over my words and I feel like I'd repeat myself a lot. So. Hopefully it turned out well. If you guys want to go check out the full interview, I'll have the, it'll be the first link in the description. EastSupplements.com, very cool website because they actually they beat, a, yeah, they say they beat every any competitor. So if you guys want to grab anything up, go there and they get free shipping whether it's a granola bar or like 15 tubs of protein. So it'll beat anyone anyone's price and they will give you free shipping. So very very cool. Check them out if you guys want to snag some supplements up. I thank all you guys for watching. I thank East Supplements for bringing me out. This was super cool. Really, very, very much enjoyed this. So I'm gonna hit the sack. Gotta be up at five in the morning to fly out. So burger time.